This is a German, vintage German military beret in wool. Uh, and you can tell because of the tag. I'm pretty sure it's German. It might be something else. Um, I had two of these. Uh, this is the red one. I have a green one still for sale. And this one sold for $25. This is an antique um, carving knife by Rogers, uh, Joseph Rogers and Sons from Sheffield, England. Okay, I got the camera on super macro so you could see the label or uh, the logo. Joseph Rogers and Sons, Cutlers to His Majesty. Since the Queen has been on the throne since I do believe it's 1959, um, that says that this knife is from before that since it says His Majesty. So this company um, can fetch very high prices, but mostly only if it is a hunting knife. Um, so this is a kitchen knife, but if you had a hunting knife, um, they're called Bowie knives. Um, if you look at completed listings on eBay, uh, one of the most recent ones sold for $1,000. So, you know, I was like really, really excited to see that, but <laughs> this is just a kitchen knife, so it's not that fancy. But I had this up for, I think I had it up for 50 I got an offer of 38 and I took it. So $38 for just a kitchen knife is pretty cool. This is a vintage L.L. Bean 100% uh, combed cotton made in the USA uh, Henley shirt, they call it. Um, you can see it says made in the USA, so you know it's vintage. Um, I had it up for $24. Someone offered 18 and I said yes. This is an all-leather binder organizer by a brand called Camelier and Buckley, made in the USA. Uh, it's quite nice. I think I had this up for $40, and I took an offer of $25, because I just wanted to sell it. It's got a bunch of scratches on it. You can see scratches and wear. Um, and it's sold to someone in Australia through the Global Shipping Program. This is a National Park Service volunteer hat um, for a place called Wolf Trap which I do believe is a concert venue um, in Virginia. And I just listed this today and it sold for $24. This is new in the box Aramis aftershave cologne lotion. Um, it's quite large, it's four ounces. Um, I had this up for $65 because it's kind of a fancy brand, but I took an offer of 40. So I'm happy. This is a trucker hat from the 80s. Wall-to-wall -wall sound and video was a store. Uh, I never heard of it before, but I love the logo. I love that it's on a trucker hat. And um, I have had this for a while, maybe two years. I'm surprised it hadn't sold before now, but it did finally sell for 20 bucks to someone in Hollywood. Perfect. This is a vintage Sony sports Walkman. Um, this ex th it wasn't this exact model, but I had one very much like it uh, in middle and high school, and I loved it. So I'm assuming that this person loved theirs too and wanted one again. Um, th this sold for $150. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? But it did. So if you ever see these Sony Sports Walkman, they are worth a lot of money. And uh, this one's in very, very nice shape, actually. I have another one that's not in as good a shape. Um, so I haven't listed that one yet, but um, this is quite a nice find and quite a nice sale. This is a North Face nylon bag. Um, the funny thing about this bag is it's a bag to hold another duffel bag. Base camp duffel. Um, at first, I was like, oh, it's a base camp duffel. But then it says the measurements uh, 20 by 12 by 12. And I'm like, this thing's not 20 by 12 by 12. Oh, this is the bag that holds the base camp duffel. But I was like, you know what? People are really into the North Face. And this is a cool, you know, like little travel bag, uh, purse, beach type thing. 
So I sold it for $25 by itself. And I remember I got this um, at my sister's house. She had this big, she had like three trash bags full of s stuff that she was going to donate um, or swap with friends. And she was like, just go through it, take stuff. And this was in there. So this is a good sale. This is a super kitschy pair of needlepoint. And they both have black cats in them. This one has a frame. It's kind of a chintzy frame. Uh, and this one doesn't have a frame. But I'm assuming someone's going to reframe them. But they're a cute pair. And they sold for $25. So that's pretty amazing. Especially because last night we were at an auction and I bought a professional oil painting for $10. So for something like this to sell for $25 is awesome. This is a great set of eight mid-century modern cork and wood coasters. Um, it has a symbol on the back, made in Japan, and these sold for $36.99. This is an Apple numeric keyboard um, from maybe like 10 years ago or more. Um, I had about three or four of these, and I've sold them for 25 bucks each. Um, over time, I took an offer of $11 on this one because I would love to get it out of storage. Uh, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, these are great keyboards because they have black keys. They're super sturdy. Um, I have one more left and I might keep it for myself because the one that I have, I'll show you. This is my keyboard for my iMac. Um, it's wireless and it's cool, but it uses batteries. It's super lightweight and fancy, you know, it comes with the iMac. But really, the keys get really dirty. Uh, they're pretty dirty right now, you can't see it. Um, and I have to clean it all the time and replace the batteries. So I kind of love that numeric one. I might <laughs> have to uh, keep that one instead of this one. This is a Swiss gear. Um, expandable hiking stick, um, walking pole thing. <laughs> and they look super fancy and they're not worth very much money at all. Um, they have a little compass up here. It's a pretty awesome piece. And actually a lot of people sell them in pairs, so they might be worth more if it were a pair. Um, so this sold for $25, which is not bad, but um, I thought it was worth like 50. But maybe if I had a pair, it'd be worth 50. Jay found this at a thrift store for about $5, um, and it looks kind of like a paperweight at first glance, but what it is, is it's an actual bronze medal made by the um, Metalist Society, let's see what does it say, the Society of Metalists, um, and the artist is Don Everhart, um, and this... This artist actually makes coins. He designs U.S. coins. So um, the medalists, they do limited editions like this. Um, and I think they also do, uh, I have to look on the Wikipedia page, uh, you know, famous medals and things like that. We got it for five or six, something like that. And uh, different limited edition medals like this, bronze and silver and all different kinds of medals, um, can go up to like a thousand dollars. This one is not worth that much. <laughs> um, I found this for sale on uh, Coin Collector's website for a hundred dollars. So I actually put mine up for a one fifty because there was none of this edition on eBay, and I thought you know some people might be looking on eBay for you know one that's not on there. Um, so I took an offer of one thirty the same day I listed it. So I think that was the right price. Um, I'm very happy to sell this for 130 This is a 1978 uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy. You can see on the bottom it says 1978. Coin Bank. Super cute. Super vintage. Um, and I think we had this up for 25 And we took an offer of 15 Because, come on. It is cute though. Uh, for anyone who's a Raggedy Ann an Andy fan. This is a vintage federal glass refrigerator dish. Now, when we first started, for some reason, I remember my mom said she really wanted the ones that my grandmother had 
because they're gorgeous and you can't find them anymore and they're awesome and whatever. So I bought a bunch of them at yard sales and stuff. And they're cool, but they really... I think there are certain kinds that are worth a lot, but this one clearly is not worth a lot. I have had this listed since December 2011, okay, and I got an offer of $20, and I took it. So I'm happy it's gone. I have, like, three others that I would love to just get rid of, so if anyone's interested. This is a backpack. Um, it's kind of a basic backpack, but a good backpack is hard to find sometimes. So this is a Traeger brand made in Seattle, so it's kind of a good brand. Um... But uh, I put it up for 30 and it sold for 30 Pretty good price for just a regular backpack. So these are a bunch of uh, buttons, uh, activist buttons, uh, peace marcher buttons, uh, feminist buttons uh, from the 80s and 90s. Um, we actually have two sets of these. One is like just basic uh, stuff, and then the other stuff is like super... Um, like feminist stuff. So you can see here I found this little piece of paper in one of them from 1983. Awesome. Um, so we bought this whole lot, I don't even know, a dollar or two for, you know, like 50 buttons. And this was a lot of 20 of them and they sold for 30 bucks. This is a Daytimer brand leather organizer. Um, I did not think it would be worth as much as it is, but even with scuffs and scratches, it sold for 40 bucks. So you gotta look out for those, man. Those are cool. So this was a super weird sale. Um, this guy gave me an offer of $41 on this bag. It's all leather, it's a duffel. Uh, nice bag. And I think I had it up for 60, so I was like, yeah, 40, let's do it, let's get rid of it. And then he says he can't pay through PayPal because the Cookies on his computer won't allow him to do it. Just something really weird, right? It's just crazy. So we're like, okay, well, we'll cancel the sale. So I send the cancellation. It gets canceled. I thought it got canceled. I guess it didn't. I guess he didn't cancel it. Um, I relist the bag. And then like a week later, he pays for it through PayPal. Um, I didn't see the PayPal email, so I was, like, really confused because he sent me a message like, hey, are you going to ship this? And I was like, what are you talking about? It's So I looked through PayPal, and he did pay through PayPal, but there's no record of the payment through eBay. So it's very odd. Um, but I do have the PayPal payment, so I'm glad to send it to him. It's just weird that eBay wouldn't record that as a payment. That's ah, odd. Anyway, I'm shipping it through, you know, PayPal labels and uh, it should be fine. These are a pair of Nike nylon jogging pants. Uh, not super fancy, but basic. Uh, Nike is a very popular brand for shoes, obviously, and workout clothes. So I think I paid like a dollar or two, maybe, max. And these sold for $36.99. Okay, you might recognize this from earlier in the week. Uh, I had a red one. This is a German all-wool military beret leather here. Um, same guy bought it. So he received his other one yesterday. And I guess he looked in my store and saw that I had another one. So this also self sold for $25. This is a big old cowboy hat. It's real straw. Um, it's quite nice, very sturdy, definitely vintage. It's got the size in there, seven and a quarter, and it sold for 40 bucks. It's a great sale for a hat. This is a lovely real coach um, keychain, or you could put it on the zipper of a bag. It's got leather tassels. This is brass. This is leather with really nice stitching. So you know it's genuine. I bought this at a thrift store for 50 cents. And I sold it for $60. Pretty nice sale. These are a pair of size 48 official park ranger uniform pants. Um, the funny thing is they sold to the big town near us. 
Um, so I'm pretty sure this person probably works in the national park that's right in our county. So that's kind of funny. Um, and these sold for $25. These are a pair of Tasco offshore binoculars. Uh, it's missing one cap here, uh, but it does have the cap up here. It's got the case. Um, I think we paid no more than $10 for these and they sold for $125. So these are always a good bet. These are a pair of vintage or antique sunglasses, um, spectacles, or some people call them tea shades. Um, they're cool because they have this flexible wire. Uh, they are not gold filled. Those are the ones that sell for a lot of money, $100 or more. I had these up for 65 I think, and I took an offer of 50 so I am quite happy with that. This is a photograph print of the Grave Digger, a big monster truck, and it's signed by the original Grave Digger driver. Um, his name is Dennis Anderson in 1992. I listed this for $30, and it sold. Uh, the funny thing is, there is a culture of, like, rockabilly kind of Americana in Scandinavia and you know they're Sweden Finland um, countries like that so when this sold it sold to someone in the global shipping program and Jay immediately said I bet it's someone in Finland and I was like ah that'd be that'd be crazy and it was so someone in Finland uh, who's really into 4x4s and monster trucks and Americana is going to get this. 30 bucks. This is a cute bucket hat, a women's bucket hat. You might recognize it because I did sell it once before and the person returned it because it didn't fit her, um, which is fine. Uh, but I resold it for $30. Hopefully it will fit this person and they will keep it. This is an extra large tall linen shirt. It's quite lovely. Um, it feels great. I love linen. Um, but it only sold for 20 bucks, which is fine because uh, we've been selling shirts like crazy and uh, 20 bucks for a shirt. A linen shirt is a great deal for someone and it gets it out the door. This is a new with tags Vera Bradley. Um, it's called a Little Mandy size purse and the pattern is lemon parfait it's not a super old bag it's not a super rare bag um, there are lots of them on ebay i bought this bag with a wallet matching wallet and then another backpack with a matching wallet for 15 dollars total um, so that was actually a great deal for basically four pieces of beer bradley i had this up for 65 i think and i took an offer of 50. So I'm happy with that. I've sold the wallets themselves and the other backpack. I think I sold the other backpack for almost $100. Um, and I sold the wallets for 25 bucks each. So 15 bucks to all that is great. Okay, this is a set of 100% cotton full sheet set. Did I say that twice? <laughs> uh, two pillowcases, a flat sheet, and a fitted sheet. Um, they're super cute. I probably got them for like two bucks. But there's a bunch of damage, like little marks of like holes where it got caught in a dryer or something like that. Not big, and you wouldn't notice it. If it's on a kid's bed, no big deal. Um, so I actually took an offer of $10 plus $16 to ship. So $26 total. It's going across the country. I think I can do cheaper shipping. It's kind of heavy though. Three pounds. Um, but I wanted to get them out because they are damaged, but they are cute and they are useful. So 10 bucks. I don't know how much shipping is going to be, but, uh, not bad. This is a booklet from the American Shakespeare Festival in Stratford, Connecticut. Um, it's a pretty well-known theater. I don't know if it exists anymore. Um, there's like photos of people and performances and the construction and everything like that. I've had this for so long, many, 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 many years. Um, I got, I think I got it in a box lot and it sold for 
So not amazing, but clearly it's going to someone who will appreciate it. This is a corduroy newsboy hat. It's a Nordstrom brand. Uh, I don't think it's super vintage or anything, but it sold for $20 on Bonanza. This is a gorgeous antique needlepoint um, purse. Uh, this is kind of like a large wool needlepoint, but then this is like a much finer uh, design. Um, you can tell it's quite old. Uh, I don't know when it's from. Someone might be able to identify this. I've seen other ones uh, online, and they sell for a lot of money. So I put this up for $120. Um, I got an offer of $95 last night, and I took it. So I was very happy to sell this for about $100. That's a great sale. These are a true vintage 70s pair of platform shoes. Uh, they're suede and leather. Um, women's size 7. And I had them up for 150 I got an offer of 110 and I was thrilled to take 110 They are amazing. Just gorgeous. I would never wear shoes like this, though. I would kill myself. This is a little chalkware dude um, from the 40s, 1941, signed by someone named Ritgers. Uh, if you look up Ritgers chalkware or Ritgers baseball, you'll see this is part of a set of two other figures. One's an umpire and one's a guy from another team. Um, it's hand-painted and... The larger set sells for sometimes over $100, um, but obviously I just have one. Um, I had it up for $65. We took an offer of $50, so we're happy with that. We bought it at a thrift store for $6 in New York City, so $6 to $50 is great. These are a pair of Mark's brand Sarah Sharp and Knife Edge Dressmaker Scissors. Um, they're very high quality. I do not remember where we found these, um, but we probably did not pay very much money. Maybe a dollar. And they sold for $40. Okay, a few years back, I bought a box of these used um, for a couple bucks. And Jay was like, oh my god, don't buy those. But I was like, you know what, people are really into owls. So... I looked them up and found out that these sell for over a hundred dollars. So I had a box of like, I think I had like 12 of them and I sold them for like 150, 125, 150, something like that. And these are new in the box from the seventies, plastic wrapped. Some of the plastic is uh, torn, but still they've never been used. They're in the package. Um, I put these up for a 125 because there's, let's see, there's only seven of them. Um, so 125 I got a best offer of $95. So these sold for 95 bucks. They were $3. This is another wood carving. Um, you can see someone used it as a printing block. Um, it's dark, it's got ink on it. But this by itself sold for $30. Pretty cool. This is a uh, tea light, tea, little tea light candle holder um, in the shape of a reindeer. Um, Pottery Barn makes these. Uh, I do not know for sure if this is Pottery Barn. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, Pottery Barn makes several different style of these. This one's very heavy duty. Um, there's no label. I have seen some that look like this at our part, Pottery Barn. Um, but despite that, it's a very cool style. And this sold, I had this up for 120 and it sold for 100 which is super cool. So if you see these at yard sales or state sales, you got to get them. They're lovely and they sell for a lot of money. This is the Southwestern lamp that we talked about on the podcast. It's very cool. It's glazed. It's got this great orange inside. Um, it's got a nice long chain, black chain that comes with it. Very cool lamp. Um, I don't think we paid more than $10 for it, max. And we took an offer of $129. So 
this is a nice sale. We've had a lot of uh, $100 sales this week, so that's always a great thing. This is a vintage 70s Lee Storm Rider. It is a suede jacket. Um, it has faux shearling. shearling. Um, you can see the label Storm Rider by Lee. Um, I saw these selling for really high, so I put mine up at $1.99 best offer. And someone paid full price for it yesterday. Global shipping program, someone in Canada. So this is a $200 jacket. Um, very cool. I don't think I paid more than a couple bucks for it. Maybe five bucks. And uh, yeah, 200 bucks. I love it. I love sales like that. This is a Kelty brand uh, lightweight uh, money purse uh, that you would use for traveling. Um, it's quite nice, actually. And wallets and purses and things like this, travel, travel purses, are super popular. We sell them all the time and can usually get them for almost nothing. So this sold for $25. This is a vintage uh, fancy box of Shocking You by Schiparelli. Um, I think I paid about $5 for this at a flea market. Um, it's got the original bottle and there's like this little booklet that comes with it. Usually I wouldn't pay five bucks. It depends on the brand. But um, I thought that was neat. And um, I had it up for, I think, $60, $60, and I took an offer of 40 so I was happy to sell it. It's pretty neat. I love the box. And that's it for this week. See you next week. Bye.